Hi, hello and welcome in our video. In this video, I will be showing you hierarchy and structure in the module. I will show you how can you create artifacts right in the hierarchy, how you can create hierarchy, how you can create headings, how you can promote or demote artifacts so you can change hierarchy of those artifacts and many more. So let's dive right in. If you are creating or inserting artifact and you didn't click anywhere in the module, your artifact will be created at the end of the module. But you can see right away that those artifacts seems a little outside of this hierarchy. And in fact, th those artifacts are outside of any hierarchy of this module, because uh, you can see that by clicking on this arrow next to the chapter heading, you can collapse or expand whole chapter. So I will collapse chapter one, chapter two, and also chapter three. And you see all chapters are right now collapsed and those artifacts I created or inserted into the module are outside of this hierarchy. So as exercise number one, let's see how you can add those artifacts inside the hierarchy. For example, how you can add those artifacts into the chapter one and for example, sub chapter 1.1 and the second artifact into the sub chapter 1.2. What you can do is simple drag and dropping. You can go down here, click on this artifact and you see those dots here, just click and drag and drop this artifact into the structure. For example, first artifact here into subchapter 1.1 and this artifact here into subchapter 1.2. And just to show you that those artifacts are in fact in those subchapters, you can collapse those subchapters and you see all artifacts are hidden. So all artifacts are in fact in the hierarchy under this subchapter. But sometimes something weird can happen. Something like this. I uh, edited artifact a little and right now if I will collapse subchapter 1.2, you see this artifact is not inside this subchapter. So it means it's in the wrong hierarchy and in fact it's in hierarchy just chapter number one, because right now it disappeared. So if something like this will happen, you have one simple option. Just click on this artifact, click here on this icon or just right click. The both options will bring you the same menu and select demote artifact. And right away you see the, that artifact disappeared. And in fact, it's right here under subchapter 1.2. So Promoting or demoting artifact means that you can work within the structure. By promoting, you will bring this artifact out of this structure. So you see from 1.2 uh, into the 1. And by demoting this artifact, you can bring this artifact under 1.2. The same applies for headings. For example, clicking on this chapter 1.2 and demoting it, you see it's from 1.2 into the 1.1.1. So in hierarchy, it's under chapter 1.1. I can promote this artifact again, and it's back. And I can promote this artifact again, and it's now chapter 2. So you can work with promoting and demoting artifacts, and this way you can change the structure and hierarchy. All right, although it is Simple enough and not that hard. If you are creating artifacts and all of those artifacts uh, are added at the end of the module, and then you need to go drag and drop uh, those artifacts into the right hierarchy under the right chapter, isn't it a little too complicated? Isn't there another way how you can create artifacts right into the right hierarchy? And of course, there is. For example, if you are creating requirement after requirement or information after information, so you are just typing and adding uh, requirement after requirement, you may click on the last requirement uh, in the hierarchy or anywhere in the hierarchy you would like to add next requirement of the same artifact type and then just click on control enter and you see new artifact is created in the correct hierarchy of the same artifact type. So for example, uh, this uh, artifact that I clicked on was information. So under 
chapter 1.1, I created new information artifact type and I can add some artifact. Okay, and this is a new artifact. And for example, I, if I would like to go to general description and then add some new stakeholder requirement after this one, again, just control enter and you see it's new stakeholder requirement under 3.6 regulatory. New artifact again. And just to show you that it's correct, I collapsed it and it's not uh, in the incorrect hierarchy, it's hidden, so it's under 3.6. Excellent, but what if I would like to add some another artifact types uh, right into the hierarchy? For example, I would like to add stakeholder requirement under chapter 1.1, but we have just information here. Then my control enter strategy will not work. Or what if I would like to add existing artifact right into the hierarchy and not just at the end of the module and I need to again drag and drop it. Can I do that? And of course you can. If you would like to add existing requirement or existing artifact right into the hierarchy, just click inside the hierarchy you would like to uh, create or insert this artifact. And you can go up here again to create. And right now I will be adding existing artifact and I will find any artifact right now it really doesn't matter for example this one add and close and you see it's exactly where i would like it to be so uh, in subchapter 1.2 and in here so for example i would like uh, to create new artifact with different artifact type in between those two informations uh, so between this and this artifact i will click here click on create and for example stakeholder requirement and I have new stakeholder requirement here. So both creating new artifact and inserting existing artifact can be done right into the hierarchy. Another question may be does control enter also work for headings? And yes, it does. If I would like to create new chapter number two, so uh, adjust hierarchy a little, I can go click on chapter number one and control enter. And you see, I have new chapter number two. So yes, control enter also work for heading. You can also create headings another way. For example, if you have new blank module, then you don't have any headings here. So you need to go create, you need to choose heading or create another artifact type and then choose heading. And initial content will be another new heading. Excellent, and you see you have another new heading. Another way how you can create heading is you can create heading from existing artifact. For example, I will add new artifact here, new potential heading, and you can, the correct way would be click here or again just right click. You have almost always uh, multiple ways how you can do the same thing. So either right click or click here and you have here set as heading or content so right now it's content so i can set it as heading and you see it's heading right here if you would like to change it to content again you can click here set as heading or content and choose content for example hazard and risk information stakeholder requirement you see those are again our bookmark artifact types that we have right here or you can choose something else by choosing more options why because right now application don't know what it was before or it maybe wasn't anything before because it was always heading so you need to tell the application what artifact types it should be uh, right now and i would like to be it uh, hazard and risk so you see this new potential heading is 
uh, regular content again, and artifact type of this content is hazard and risk. So by using set as heading or content, you can also uh, use and change and create structure uh, inside the module. As I already said before, we have often many different ways how you can do the same thing. I have one other option to show you how you can work within the hierarchy by adding or creating artifacts right into the hierarchy. And this option is that if you would like to add, for example, new artifact between those two, you can click here, right click, insert new artifact, and you can choose after, so it would be between those two or before so it will be between those two or below as a child so we would create some sub child so again a little different hierarchy and we can do all three so uh, for example right right now we choose before so it should be done here insert new artifact before Excellent, so it worked. You see, it's the same artifact type because it's new artifact, but it's, uh, it is the, the same type. If you would like to have different type, choose just insert other art, uh, artifact type after, before. You see, those are the same options, but you need to choose different artifact type. Right now, uh, we would like to add artifact between those two. So choose insert new artifact after. And you see, it's here. Excellent. And the last option is insert new artifact below as a child. Excellent. And by adding this arrow here, you see that this is again in a hierarchy. I would probably uh, don't want to have this as child in the hierarchy, but you may never know. Maybe this is some actual use case for you. All right, so uh, let's also talk about adding uh, different artifact types and just include one scenario or one example. So for example, I would like to add some artifact type, for example, hazard and risk between those two. So after this one, I will right click, insert new artifact, another type, after. And you see, excellent. And let's choose hazard and risk. Excellent. And it's done. So it works exactly as described. Great. So this was about creating artifacts in the structure, but you see as I right click, you also have insert existing artifact and again, after, before and below as a child. So exactly the same options. So for example, if you would like to insert existing artifact in between those two, you can click here and choose insert existing artifact before, or you can click here and choose insert existing artifact after. It's the, exactly the, the same result. So uh, choose, I will choose this one. So I will choose insert existing artifact before, right click, insert existing artifact before. And again, I will found any artifact. It really doesn't matter. For example, um, this is heading, I don't want heading, this one. Add and close, excellent, you see, I inserted, uh, uh, inserted artifact right into the correct hierarchy. So this is another option. How can you use artifacts right in the hierarchy? Great. I think this was more than enough information for one video, and we will be creating subsequent videos about more examples and more scenarios. How can you work with artifacts? So if you like this video and it was informative for you, then I hope to see you in another videos. Have a great day and see you later.